Howdy folks, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut, here today to talk to you about 3D printers. Uh, and not just for guns, but of course that's mainly what I'm interested in them for. But uh, man, you can print all kinds of stuff that uh, really can improve your life. I mean, car parts, boat parts, airplane parts, just stuff around the house parts. You know, if you need some kind of weird hanger or whatever. I mean, 3D printing has, has come a long way and it's uh, making people able to do a lot of cool stuff. And one of the things I like best about 3D printing is it's turning all these, uh, a lot of young folks who otherwise wouldn't get exposed to this sort of world, it's causing them to have to think and solve problems. And, uh, you know, it's a huge step up from sitting on the couch and playing video games and smoking weed. <laughs> yes, I know, young guys, you're not all like that. And even if you do, hey, as long as you're balancing it out with, you know, other stuff you do in your life, great. Uh, don't let me judge you because, you know, what am I? Yes, I'm a FUD and uh, a boomer. Yes, FUD boomer. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's great stuff. Uh, and as you may know, I'm kind of partial to the Bamboo Labs printers. I've got a couple of them here. I'm kind of late to the 3D printing game in the gun world, and it's for good reason. The, the, as a lot of you guys know who've been doing this for a while, the stuff's a real pain in the butt if you don't know what you're doing. I mean, there's a lot of screwing with, uh, with the setup and everything, and, and there's so much to it. Uh, and... It's great if you're doing it for a hobby. You know, one of the cool things about my job is I get to make all this this really neat stuff, but you know, I, I can't be screwing around. I gotta have something that's pretty much plug and play. So the Bamboo Labs was pretty much that. I mean, it's it's mostly been plug and play, fairly trouble free, very fast, all that stuff. But uh, I was just given this, uh, this Ender, and I was a bit worried because I've seen a lot of the guys out there use Enders, and they're, you know, a couple hundred bucks. This one is, uh, 300 something, I don't know, but you know, this one has come a long way and it, it does its own setup when it starts out. It, it levels the bed and everything, which is a big deal. The first thing I printed out, it went to crap, and you know, you see what it looks like. It was totally my fault. I had the settings wrong for the particular uh, filament I was using, and luckily, online group, I figured it out right away and, and made perfect prints after that. But man, it's not that much slower than the Bamboo Labs, and you know, when you're doing a quick print, some of the stuff is 15 minutes, uh, and some of the stuff is an hour, hour and a half, and once you get to a couple few hours, it kind of doesn't matter because you're going to just push the button and walk away and come back tomorrow anyway. So if it, if it took you 15 hours or it took you 22 hours, what do you care? You were asleep, right? Okay, I kind of feel like I'm cheating on my Bamboo Labs. Well, both my Bamboo Labs printers, but that's okay. A lot of good things come from cheating, well, I guess. All right, I'm gonna free up my camera hand and put this sucker together. That's funny looking. All right, moment of truth. Now, in case you haven't guessed yet, this isn't a serious detailed comparison of these two different printers, two different brands, really. It's just mainly to give you a look at something that's out there. Uh, you know, the Enders were always the, the cheapest printers that guys were doing uh, 2A printing with, but uh, they've evolved into something that's pretty awesome. And here's something that costs literally a third of what a Bamboo Labs printer costs, you know, the, the X1 Carbon, and yet it may do everything you need. So you might want to take a serious look at this, especially if you're on the fence about getting into 3D printing in general. I mean, some people just, it's not for them. Uh, and maybe that's you. So if you spend a few hundred bucks instead of a thousand or twelve hundred bucks, hey, that's great. Ah, there we go. Nice touch screen. Oh boy. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna go through all this. It'll take forever. I mean, it's not selective molecular rearrangement, but it's pretty cool. I mean. Stuff that, you know, the, the beauty of it is you take something and you, you got something in your head, you start screwing around in CAD, and that's another great thing. 3D printing has gotten people to start using CAD. You know, some people are just, they only download stuff that other people made, but a lot of people get to the point where they're just like, 
man, I just need this this to be this you know, a little bit different here, a little different here, and next thing you know, they're learning CAD, and that's pretty cool because even with the futuristic selective molecular rearrangement, you still got to start out with something. You got to have something you know to get from your head into the computer, and, and CAD is obviously that. Uh, so that's that's awesome. Um, forcing people to use CAD is is great. Well, thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate you as always. Catch you next time.